Oh, yeah. Hey, you you're wondering why I'm so short, or you're so short, is because I'm standing on a bunch of compost and mulch on top of the soil. Okay. Folks, it's real important. Get out there and start thinking about getting those plants to, well, live during yeah. this real hot period. I heard in my ear it's supposed to be 120 this next week. We don't so deep watering is crucial. In fact, I'm adding one more watering into our schedule right now. So okay. this week, unusual as it sounds, I'm going to add two deep waterings in my schedule. This is really crucial, folks. If you don't, Invariably, you're going to see a little bit of stress and possibly the demise of your plant material. What do I mean? Making sure you're watering at least three foot deep. So how do we tell? We push a piece of rebar in around all the trees on the drip line of our trees. I talk about it all the time. How do you do it and how do you do it evenly? Here's one of my secrets. Okay. This is leaky pipe. Now, the problem with leaky pipe after a couple years, it's no good, but it's very inexpensive. I'll wrap this hose, and you see, this is a big old hose, mm -hmm. just basically just oozes water out of the actual hose itself. It deep waters at the drip line of the tree and deep waters deeply, and it's really crucial that you do this on your trees, your shrubs approximately two feet, and all your plant material about a foot to two foot. Very important. Now, for your lawn, about once a week is still okay. It might want to, we might want to increase it to every three or four days, but every, right now, about a, every week or so is going to be okay. But the time, it, the time of day matters. It doesn't really no? matter as much. You know, being in the nursery business, it's really tough to really ha actually time it out. So if you want them during the day, evening, or night, you're going to be okay. Just make sure you try to do it in the morning. But let me say one thing. If you do it and you have to do it in the afternoon, it's not going to really hurt anything. You're oh. Just your evapotranspiration goes way up. Oh, okay. Okay, so what you want to do, again, folks, make sure we add one more watering. We're probably going to water twice this week. We're going to water deeply around all the plant material, and we're going to make sure when we water deeply, we're watering at the drip line of that plant material. The other thing, a lot of potted plants, and potted plants need to be watered in a situation almost twice a day. You see our pepper back there? Yeah. He's well mulched. He's going to be protected in among all our plant material back here. In fact, you can see how densely planted our plant, our garden is back here. So we just kind of tuck him in. So if you don't have a little bit of shade, it's going to be important to shade these pots. I even go so far as to shade them with a little bit of maybe a sheet or newspaper or anything okay. along those lines. But you're going to have to water, and that water's got to come out of the bottom, the bottom of the pot with each water. The other thing we're doing, we're doing a little bit of fertilization. And liquid seaweed or extreme juice is going to be the ideal situation. Both of those are going to give you a little bit of heat resistance, about oh, three to five degrees. It's going to help really strengthen the plant material. And you want to go ahead and spray it on the plant material, similar to what we talk, call foliar feeding. And then I put a lot of plant material out here that were grown out in the gardens, but I got a lot of emails on how to keep rabbits out of the garden. <laughs> Here's one of my ways right there. You can go ahead and do it with a lot of different types of wolf pea, mountain lion, or bobcat. Pee. Don't ask me how they get it, but here's what you want to do is you go ahead and spray that or if you got them and then they live, marigolds will also help out well. So there you go. Lots of mulch, deep watering, add one more water into our cycle yes. and you're going to be on your way towards that plant material surviving during the summertime. I have a question. How yes, did they get the predator pee? Hey, girl, <laughs> you said don't, don't ask, ask me that. that. <laughs> I don't want to know. But you know what? If you want another job, I'm sure they're hiring. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> okay. Let's send it out to weather and talk about how hot the garden's going to get. Tim? Good morning to you guys. Yeah, it's going to get uh, pretty hot out here this afternoon. In fact, the hottest temperatures, at least the longest and hottest temperatures we have felt in uh, quite a few years. Uh, let's start off with what we're seeing now. Here's a live picture from our Phoenix Tower Cam. We do have clear skies. It's 85 degrees. Uh, those winds are coming out of the east at 8 miles per hour with relative humidity at 14%. National Weather Service has issued excessive heat warnings for all that real estate you see shaded in magenta. That does include the greater Phoenix area. This does start at 10 a.m. Those excessive heat warnings run through Thursday. During this time, we're talking about valley highs ranging from 110 today to 122 by Monday and Tuesday. We also do have heat advisories for those higher elevations up in Coconino County, Yavapai County, and Northern Gila County. Uh, temperatures tracking them using Futurecast timeline in the corner. You can see by 10 a.m. we'll be in the mid 90s uh, by noon. That's when we start to see triple digits pop up. 101 in Peoria at 12 
12 p.m. 102 in Avondale, 100 in Chandler. Uh, by 4 o'clock, that's when we expect those temperatures to peak close to 110 for a lot of communities. Uh, 109 in Levine, 108 in Glendale, 108 in Tempe, otherwise 107 in Scottsdale. We hold on to the triple digits uh, through about 8, 9 o'clock tonight. And then uh, temperatures aren't going to cool off a whole lot overnight. Tomorrow morning, those lows are going to dip into the low 80s. Looking at those highs today across the state, it is going to be pretty toasty for all of Arizona. We have got 88 degrees for Flagstaff, 96 in Payson. We've got 99 for Sedona, uh, 112 for Lake Havasu, 114 for Bullhead City. Ah, oh, there was a bee chasing me. <laughs> Satellite and radar picture. Uh, we do have clear skies. High pressure is strengthening, and that is going to keep us dry for the next couple of days. So your forecast for today, hot. Excessive heat warning, 110 for that high. Uh, looking ahead to Father's Day Sunday, 114. Monday, 118. Tuesday, 121. Again, the hottest temperature we have ever seen recorded in Phoenix. Do you know what it is? 123. 122. That was close. That was, know that. you know what though? You're pretty talented. So we'll let it slide in I terms of that. music talent. We have got the Rob West band with us. Good morning. Good to morning. You, you also, you? both of you guys saved me from a bee that was trying to attack me just yeah, now. That was kamikaze bee right there. I <laughs> you I did have a death wish. I know. I know. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about your band. Well, uh, we're local from Arizona. All of us natives here at Arizona, uh, six generations from me and my family. Um, we're traveling all over the place right now between here and Nashville recording a new album. We're on the road doing uh, some stops in Lake Tahoe. We're going to be in uh, Oklahoma. We'll be uh, Florida, Tampa, Florida. So kind of making our rounds right now, promoting the new single that's out, Lazy Rainy Sundays, which we're going to play for you. Who's uh, with you in your band? I've got uh, my bass player, uh, Jay, over here, my drummer, John, and uh, these guys are the best man I, I was so lucky and blessed to get them to play with me so all right take it away from Thanks. take a break at the lake AZFamily.com now powered by Free TV and CBS 5, your one-stop digital destination for all things Arizona. The all-new AZFamily.com, now powered by Free TV and CBS 5. You can drive a truck, or you can team up with one. The 2017 Nissan Titan. Go the extra mile in a truck that has better acceleration, handling, and braking than Ford F-150. Take on any job. The newly redesigned family of Titans, featuring America's best truck warranty. Five years, 100,000 miles, bumper to bumper. Get a low 269 per month lease on the 2017 Titan, or save up to 10,260 on Titan XD. Isaac Hu has mastered gravity-defying moves to amaze his audience. Great show. Here you go. Now he's added a new routine, making depositing a check seem so effortless. Easy to use Chase technology for whatever you're trying to master. Isaac, are you ready? Yeah. Chase, so you can. 
This summer, the deals are heating up at Pruitt's. Find all your favorite looks at the hottest prices. Like this Abbey Espresso five-piece counter-height dining set, yours for $199. Or this Slayton Mocha dual reclining sofa, just $499. Visit Pruitt's for the lowest prices and best selection at Alma School and Ray or Thomas Road and 34th Street. Pruitt's, proudly serving the Valley for 65 years. How do you want to live? As a decent person? Good husband. Is that it? Good? Of course not. King of the Hill? Better. Top of your game? Win. All powerful. Like a boss. Like a pro. We couldn't agree more. We are professional grade. Step up to GMC and get nearly 9,200 total value on select specially equipped Sierra Crew Cab SLT vehicles in stock. See your Valley GMC dealers. Those are all the beautiful things that you want. Ah, oh, this time of year, it's summertime. Maybe you have a little extra time on your hands. But yeah. no, you've got to cut the sugar cravings here. Mm -hmm. We have Felicia Romero with us with hey Fit Method. Yes. And do you see me stalking your Instagram? I do, but yeah. I stalk yours too. Oh, good. Well, yeah, at least it's mutual. <laughs> like, 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 like. She's got like a, her feeds filled up. But you're here today to yes. talk to, about sugar cravings and how to... Mm -hmm. You're still going to give us something delicious and yes. lovely and sweet. Yes. But just without the bad of the sugar Absolutely. and the white sugar. Salt. I'm a firm believer. I don't want to omit whole, whole food groups. Mm -hmm. We need some sugar, but what are those better choices? Especially too here in the summer, we, you know, the heat is up, our energy is low, and what is going to get us going through the right. day? Right. Mm -hmm. No doubt about it. With the yeah. energy dropping, I just had that right. happen right now. Right. I came in here eating mm -hmm. some yogurt, saying, "I hope this is okay." I know. So tell me about the pairings because that's always yeah. where I have a challenge. Yeah, I would say most people have problems with the food pairings and you know like when I tell people um, fats and a carb yeah. well fruits are great so I never want to eat a fruit by itself I usually like to maybe add some nuts with it it's just gonna keep you fuller longer so okay. let's say you have some strawberries or some pineapples or maybe mm -hmm. an apple you're gonna throw some almond butter or peanut butter on it or have, have a handful of nuts with it okay. it's just gonna keep you fuller longer and it's gonna banish those sugar cravings when you want to grab, let's say, a candy bar. And I love that you have some of the packaged things because yeah. th this is oh. kind of how I pack my lunch yeah. for work yeah. often. So and you what have I the find is nuts people nuts. need easy. Yeah. They need easy. Everyone's on the go. Everyone's, mm -hmm. you know, go, go, go and not, don't have a lot of time to cook. And these are just quick, easy snacks that you can just take with you. Okay. Talk to me about the string cheese. How mm -hmm. are we eating that? What are we pairing that yeah. with? Yeah. String cheese is great. Again, you can have it with a pair of nuts or um, maybe like some <laughs> pair of nuts. Oh my gosh. I or We're like an apple, <laughs> or or an apple, or something uh -huh. like that, or um, some yogurt, uh -huh. and maybe throw some nuts on there, or you know, pair it with some almond butter, peanut butter, okay. anything like that. It's just a great combination. And frozen grapes. Have you ever had frozen grapes? Yes, only recently. And yeah. I, because I was thought, oh, that just doesn't sound good. It doesn't yeah. sound good, but it is delightful. It is so good, especially for the summer. Again, mm -hmm. it's going to be 120 degrees this week, yeah. so need something to keep us cool. Okay, this is another one that you'll um, find in my lunchbox yeah. in the live truck, and right. I love them. Right. Oh, they're so great. And then they're paired with cheese and some nuts and there's some raisins in there and just really, really good on the go. Do you do take those a lot with you? Yeah, I love them. Go. Yeah, they're great. I love buying the little packaged things that are just uh -huh. ready to go. Absolutely. They've done the brain work for me. Mm -hmm. And I, um, you know, I save the little cheese bites for last yeah. and the cashews and all the yummiest yeah. ones. You've got the rice cakes. Rice Felicia. cakes are great. Yeah, mm -hmm. they're so great. These are the brown rice cakes. So I tend to use the, the brown rice cakes because okay. you're just going to get a little bit more of that complex. And I throw a little bit of almond butter on there and maybe some sliced banana. Yeah. And there you go. Great snack. And you have kids, don't you? I don't have any kids. You I don't? have fur babies. Fur babies. Yeah. Okay. So how are you keeping the fur babies cool during the summertime? Oh gosh. Uh, you know, I actually feed them ice cubes. They love you ice do? cubes. Mm -hmm. But I try to, you know, take them for walks. But I was just, you know, it's it's so hot out. Yeah. So I feel like it's the the ground is really, you know, tough. So yeah. I try to take them outside and spray them off with water, yeah. things like that. So my my sister's always working on ways to um, trick the kids mm -hmm. into eating something yummy. Yeah. And I, so I think this might work. Oh, great. this is great. Put yeah. them in the freezer. Good to go. Yeah. Felicia, mm -hmm. thank you so much. Thank you. Stalk her on Instagram. I do. What's your handle? Uh, Felicia Romero. All yeah, right. Just my name. We'll be right back. Thanks, Arizona. guys. I got one. This is your first fish. 
Cabela's Father's Day Sale. Get your choice of select men's and women's guidewear shirts for only $29.99. Shop in store and online at cabelas.com. <laughs> Cabela's Father's Day Sale. Come in and get $30 off Cabela's exclusive men's Keen Newport H2 sandals. Shop in store and online at cabelas.com. Hey, no, I'm, I'm driving Dad to the hospital. He was just playing with Emma and he hit his head, but then he wouldn't stop bleeding and he got dizzy. Right, the blood thinner for um, AFib. How you doing, Dad? I'll be okay. Listen, we're pulling in. I'm going to call you back. This is the third time he's been admitted with a serious bleed. Is this blood thinner really helping him? I understand your concern. Your father's atrial fibrillation increases his risk for stroke. This is why you're on warfarin. But there is an alternative. Another pill? No, it's called Watchman. Watchman is a permanent implant that reduces the risk of stroke. In a clinical trial, 9 out of 10 people who received Watchman stopped taking warfarin in 45 days. There are risks associated with the Watchman implant, including internal bleeding, stroke, and in rare cases, it can be fatal. Talk to your cardiologist so that you thoroughly understand all the benefits and risks to see if Watchman is right for you. Learn more at Watchman.com. All across America, more people are choosing Nissan. It's America's best sales event at Nissan, the fastest growing auto brand in the USA. Take on every day and get a low $199 per month lease on the 2017 Rogue or lease Murano, just $259 per month. Get to your local Nissan dealer today. The life you've been waiting for is here in the beautiful desert mountains of Wickenburg Ranch. Embodying a unique sense of freedom, Wickenburg Ranch is a place where everyday life is a remarkable life, a playful life. A life of luxury. A life where you create memories, not just look back on them. All in a place where neighbors not only know your name, but welcome you with a hello. Wickenburg Ranch. Close enough to live away from it all. Play with dolphins in the water or interact with them from land. Learn about these amazing animals. Be inspired to protect the ocean and its inhabitants. Dolphin Aries, Arizona. Reserve your experience now. Up to 40% off all summer. Weather with Royal Norman. Weeknights on 3TV. Bound by wild desire. That's amazing. <laughs> I fell Who doesn't love Johnny Cash in the morning? Good song. I, I just think of karaoke in a ring of fire, Jamie. About to be. Jump that ring <laughs> through the hoop. <laughs> uh, good morning, Arizona. How are you? It's 9.01 in the morning. It's Saturday, and it is the 17th of June, and we are getting ready for this massive heat wave to encroach upon the Valley of the Sun. We expect it. We know it's we coming. Just we just hate to see the one, two. It's usually a one, one something. I mean, does the computer go that high? Are we, do, can we even accommodate this? So Kim, you'll be happy to know I have figured out a way that we can avoid saying hot. I think it's all in how we say it. So we can say hot. It's hot, hot out there. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm working for you. I'm trying. <laughs> Oh my gosh, yeah, <laughs> you know, we can uh, try and make it sound a little bit mm -hmm. more pleasant or we could just not talk about it, just ignore it. Yeah, yeah I don't think good. that's going to work, but you know what? This will take your mind off of it. This goodness right here. This is Dylan's 